my name is uh, Eric Fleeting and I publish visualsproducer.com and uh, some time ago I did a review of uh, Nugent Audio's SEQS equalizer and that equalizer has a, a very specific feature which is the match EQ which allows you to match the um, curve of one recording to another um, and that allows you to for example if you're setting up um, an interview for example with two different microphones um, then you usually have a difference of sound in um, one microphone from one brand uh, compared to a microphone from a different band and with MagicQ you can bring those two together so closer together and in the next screen capture or screencast I'm showing you how to do that with Logic Pro X as the host and uh, how to do that with Nugent Audio's SEQS and you will see that it is quite simple to do so without further ado, let's take a look at how you match the quality of sound of one microphone to another one. Right, so we are going to be um, matching an internal microphone recording from an iMac to a recording from an SE Electronics V7 dynamic microphone. On the track that represents the V7, I am going to insert a Nugent Send and I'll call that one V7. And on the track that needs to be matched to the V7, I am going to insert SEQS. And in SEQS I am going to click on match and I am going to match a new snapshot and I am going to record from the send, namely the V7. We'll change maximum to average and we will start recording in here and playing So here. this is the V7, this is going to be our reference microphone which is uh, going to be the uh, the uh, basic the basis for matching the internal microphone and the internal microphone will be matched to this one right so now i click stop again and i click save and i'm saving it in the first position now i need to match it so i'm going to return the playhead to the, f the beginning position or the starting position and i am going to match from the current snores snapshot create a new one and apply it to a new snapshot and again i am going to record now from self so from the uh, internal microphone track average and click record and play Okay, so this is to establish a match uh, print for uh, Newton Audio's SEQS to see how it can be matched to a V7 dynamic microphone by SE Electronics. And stop and save. We are saved now in position 2. Now in order to match the V7 with the internal microphone or rather to make the internal microphone sound like the V7 or more like the V7 I'm going to return to position 1 I'm going to say match from current source and apply to current target snapshot and when I now click the match button you see that there is an erratic curve occurring and that erratic curve means that this one now sounds much more like the V7 and I can uh, let you hear that okay so this is to establish a match uh, print for uh, Newton Audio's SEQS 
to see how it can be matched to a V7 dynamic microphone by SE out. And now listen to the V7. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to activate audio through. So this is the V7. This is going to be our reference microphone, which is Newton Audios SEQS. So as you can hear and see, there's a more. Uh, the two come closer. They are not identical, but that's impossible because the V7 is right uh, at my mouth, so there's practically no reverb uh, occurring, while the uh, IMAX internal microphone is about 40 centimeters away from my mouth and picks up a lot of room reverb. And that's it for this uh, presentation on uh, Nugent Audio's SEQS Match EQ uh, feature. Thanks for watching.